Rabbi, what do you have to say to the community just struggling now to come to terms with what's happening? Well, our hearts break for the people who have been struck by this terrible carnage in, in Las Vegas. We have to confront, confront an epidemic of violence in our country. Um, there's a, a nexus between the lack of, uh, of mental health care available to people um, and um, um, a need to, uh, to have careful controls over access to, to firearms so that nobody can have a, a weapon with this kind of strength and, and magnitude to, to hurt so, so many. Well, it's just about getting that conversation going, and we appreciate everything you're doing with the United Interfaith Encounter. So for people who don't know, you've been around here in the Bluegrass about two years now. Tell us a little bit of the background. What are you doing into the community? Well, the United Interfaith Encounters are simply to build dialogue, to build encounter. Pope Francis okay. a while ago spoke about building the culture of encounter. That's what we're trying to do. We're getting the Jews together with the Muslims, the Muslims together with the Christians, the Catholics together with the Baptists, all of us together, the gays, the straights, mm -hmm. uh, the Hispanic community, our African-American community, our civic community, our religious community, building encounter, building relationships, so we really learn who each other are. And you have an event um, tonight. Tell us about that. Uh, we do. It's United and Care for Our Common Home. It is uh, a dialogue. Uh, Rabbi will be one of the presenters. He will present uh, how we care for our common home from his faith tradition. We have Bishop John Stowe of the Catholic Diocese of Lexington that will be another presenter from the Christian tradition. And Iksan Bagby, the professor of Islamic studies at University of Kentucky, who will give us another perspective. And we'll all sort of talk about how we can care for our common home and hopefully through it all learn how we care for each other too. And Rabbi, why is it important for you to want to be involved in an event like what's happening tonight? Well, first of all, we really appreciate being included. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're so happy that the outreach uh, includes um, our, our Muslim brothers and sisters as well. And we want to keep reaching out to um, Hindu, Buddhist, and other faith traditions. Um, all of our Abrahamic faiths have a clear emphasis on um, what our Christian brothers and sisters call so beautifully stewardship. We are not owners of the planet, we are its stewards. And that means we have a responsibility to take care of it and leave it in the best shape possible for our children and grandchildren. And tonight you have Seed Life will have a presence. Tell us about that. Well, Seed Life uh, contacted me and they said, gee whiz, could we come out and have a table? I said, well, tell me a little bit about uh, Seed Leaf. And they said uh, that they supply 15 community gardens in town for people that otherwise would not have access to fresh vegetables and they maintain them. And uh, this is really caring not only for creation, wow. but caring for one another. And it sort of really was iconic for everything that we're trying to do, both with talking about creation and encountering one another. I love that. We're going to have to get Seed Leaf on the show. I love what you said that they're doing. Um, before we go, I know you said everyone is included, but does that mean really everyone? Maybe you haven't um, been part of your faith for a while. Can you still come out tonight? Everyone's welcome, right? When we say all, we mean all y'all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, thank you both for taking the time to come in here today. We're going to put all the information up on the screen. Again, head out to that event tonight. Everyone is included. Stay with us. Coming up after the break, we have your news out of Hollywood. Stay with us.